second um i feel like it's a quiz every day like okay what day is it no one knows it's sometime after 8 a.m usually i like to kind of get going on the day earlier i just got ready kind of quickly because sophie's up soren's up hi buddy he's getting hungry again but anyway bjorn's doing online teaching in the other room and i thought i might as well bring you along for whatever adventures today brings as well how are you yeah, you wanted Mama to look at you too, didn't you? Yeah, like I said, he's getting hungry. It is a gorgeous day out, but someone needs me a little more than me taking a video. Say good morning. Yeah. Sophie's visiting Bjorn, who is teaching online. A little check. Yeah. Oh, should we maybe put other things in your special box too? Yeah. All right, we made it downstairs with Mama pretty much ready for the day, kind of. I've got a sweatshirt on and jeans. And, oh, quick note on that. I have tried all combinations of being ready or not ready for the day. I've done makeup days, makeup less days, days with just pajamas all day. Turns out I feel best when I'm ready for my day. So that's why jeans are on today. Yes, honey. So we will be trying to play quietly downstairs because daddy has a couple online meetings. I think Zoom, Zoom meetings, right? Daddy's gonna be doing video meetings upstairs and so we don't wanna be too loud. Oh, let's say hi to Soren. He's such a big boy. Where's your burp clap? Getting a little drooly, too. Kind of makes Mama wonder if you're going to get teeth sooner than Sophie did. Soren rolls over now, but not like constantly. But look at that. You are so strong. What's that? I asked Sophie if she wanted to show us her sensory bottles. So she is hiding them. This is something really cool we wanted to show you guys. It's a sensory bottle. And what what movie is this one about? Frozen. Frozen. So we can swirl it around and around. It looks like a snowstorm in there. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I Sophie did. and I made it together. I, I hear, hear a storm. You hear a storm? Oh, the snowstorm? Yes, there's no storm outside, but there's looks like a snowstorm inside this bottle. So, um, this is a frozen themed sensory bottle. I actually have the whole um, craft, the whole DIY up on my blog, which is justbeblog.com. And I guess I can link it below too. Anyway, these are super fun to do with kids. Yeah, really easy to do. We just have some special sequins in here. Kind of hard to show. If I look up close, yeah, there they are. It's really fun for girls who love Frozen. Right, Sophie? What does Elsa sing? Um, I hear you both. So much love you. But others don't. There's a... Oh, cool. About my day. For episode 97 of Quarantine Meals, I think today we're gonna make grilled cheese sandwiches for lunch and maybe canned soup on the side. Does that sound good, Sophie? <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm coming up with. Bjorn's upstairs right now um, doing online teaching and meetings, but he's really good at figuring out what to use in the cupboard. I like to meal plan differently um, and he's really good at just like 
figuring out what to make with what we already have, which is an awesome and important skill. So I might ask him for some ideas too. But right now I'm thinking grilled cheese. We have a little bit of time to kill before lunchtime. It's 10.50. And I'm bringing out this Mighty Mind Tangram activity, basically. And Sophie's done this before. Um, I'll just open it up and show you. Okay, so what you do first is she has to find and match. Yep. Onto here. Yep. Find and match those Tangram shapes. And then where, where do we put them next? It says which ones you need, and then you have to build a shape right there okay. using the ones that kind of are in the recipe. Now how do you make those into a circle? <gasps> Good job! <laughs> yes! Now we get the next card, right? This was card number one. The cards actually progress in difficulty, so I'm getting out the second one for her now. We have to start with these two shapes. Can you find those two shapes? Hmm, that's a circle, and this is a square. Could you find a red square and a yellow square? So Sophie's finding a yellow square and a red square, and she has to match them right here on top of the shapes. She's looking. You already have a yellow square, honey. Can you put it on the one right there? Good job. Okay, where's a red square? It might be upside down. Good job. Okay, now we need to use these two that you found to build this shape. Okay, now move these two shapes over here. See if you can build that rectangle. Look at that. I think she's doing it. Oh, she is. is that good? Good job, honey. She did it. High five. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it goes up in difficulty. As you can see, here's three triangles. She did this one the other day. We were really impressed. Um, see? Really cool. I highly recommend it so far, and we're not even that far into using it. We got the magnetic version, which is just a few dollars more, and it kind of allows... Yeah, it allows Sophie to kind of put them on here, and then they stick a little better. Okay, should we do card number three next? In case you're wondering where Soren is, he's taking a rest, as we call it. He's having a rest. So Sophie is my little kitchen helper a lot of the time. She's helping right now put something on the bread. What are you putting on the bread? Is it butter? Yeah. We're, we like to paint some melted butter on our bread. I honestly don't know how other how other people make grilled cheese. I'm not super great at making grilled cheese, but it's what's for lunch today. What are you doing? Painting the porch. She says she's painting the porch, <laughs> which is one of our favorite books, isn't it? Mr. Putter and Tabby paint the porch. How would you guys say you've been doing on quarantine meals? Are you pretty well stocked or are you kind of scrounging around? Um, I mean, I know it's a blessing to be able to um, stock up the way that we have. Um, I'm just kind of struggling to piece meals together. We just have a lot of random ingredients. Um, what I've something I've tried to do. Let's see if I can show you. Is I've kind of written out meal ideas. We've made chicken drumsticks. Bjorn is really good at cooking those. Um, chicken and black bean quesadillas it was kind of a fail for me the other day. <laughs> Spaghetti is an option, tuna and bread or crackers, grilled cheese and canned soups is something we're having today. Stir fry with rice and veggies is another option for later. Um, I did get this really cute, you can see me here, <laughs> it's like a dark charcoal, so it's kind of reflecty, but it's like this menu and it comes with a dry erase marker, but I'm not really using it that much, even though I just got it from jane.com, I love it. It's just kind of a funky time that we're living in right now, so we're kind of operating off of a meal ideas post-it note at the moment. 
All right, we finished the grilled cheeses. I make them with shredded cheese. I just prefer the taste over like American cheese slices. So having this and chicken and dumpling soup. So I usually like to cook from scratch a lot more, but we're kind of using up what we have. So I'm gonna let Sophie watch because Bjorn has a, it's actually not a school meeting. He's the mayor of our town too. So he's got a mayoral meeting on the phone upstairs and Sophie is asking to watch. Love this guy. Look which one she picked. She picked one called Electromagnetism for Babies. It isn't the most riveting plot line, <laughs> but I think it's really cool. I think we got it from her aunt. So obviously not a, it's not a fiction story, but her aunt is a scientist. Look who's up from his nap. Your cheeks are all flushed, huh? I just fed him and big sister and daddy ran outside. So they're playing in the backyard and I thought we might as well get out there too. So we're gonna put on our baby bear cub costume, essentially. Yeah. Gonna put on his little baby bunting. So you're warm. And then we get to go play outside too. Should we go see what they're up to? Yeah, you're so sweet. <laughs> Baby Bear and I are outside. Right, honey? Thought I knew where Sophie and Bjorn went, but I think they went on a walk instead of staying in the backyard, which is fine. We just have to go find them now. It's actually not as cold as I thought it would be, but he's a cute baby bear. <laughs> a little serious right now. <laughs> Let's go look for them, okay? Let's go look for sister. We found them. <laughs> The train just left this town while I'm slowly heading back to How did I get to the front of the group? Yeah. Sophie's coming. This was actually an impromptu family walk. It was not planned. We looked for them in the backyard and they had gone for a walk, so we all are. Oh, tag. We'll play tag this evening at the at the slab. At the concrete slab. Okay. <laughs> we're back in from outside and we're getting ready for nap time because Sophie's pretty tired, right? But we told her we could probably go outside again after nap. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but you know what? You and I have splashed in rain puddles before, right Sophie? Yeah. What book should we read? What was that paint the porch one you were joking about earlier? You know what? Oh, here it is. Okay, this is the book that when Sophie was painting butter on the bread for grilled cheese sandwiches earlier, she was talking about, I'm painting the porch, I'm painting the porch. And this is the book. It's Mr. Putter and Tabby Paint the Porch by Cynthia Ryland. She is hilarious. It is a good book. Understandable and fun for little kids, but the humor really, I mean, the adults like it too. It's really cute. <laughs> she says, want to see what happened, everybody? Okay. What? What happened? <laughs> okay. The silly chipmunk ran across the porch with paint on him. Uh, Boy, they are so silly. I'm actually excited because I just filmed two other standalone videos or whatever, sit down videos. Oh good, now you can see them in the bathroom. <laughs> um, I did one about Easter baskets and then, <clears throat> excuse me, one about like an introduction of myself, which sounds really self-centered, but I figure some people might not know me. So I just kind of chatted on and on about who I am and a little background and I don't know the timeline of my life so far. And I folded laundry. So 
Here's hoping that's fun for people to watch. Sophie's asleep still. It's 3.20. She went down at like 2, so I would expect her to probably be asleep till 4. She's pretty much two hours on the dot as far as her one afternoon nap goes. And, oh man, I remember when she used to nap twice a day. That was nice too. <laughs> but she's a big girl now. Actually, she's potty trained now. I'm very proud. Um... I waited for a week where we didn't have anything on the schedule. Yeah, not during coronavirus stuff. Didn't know that was coming. Got to potty train now. But no, we already got that taken care of. Was it in February? We had like one week with nothing going on. And so I read the book, Oh Crap, Potty Training. And that one had a lot of really good tips and we were able to get that done. So yeah, she's my big girl. Oh, and yes, I did change shirts. I switched shirts because I filmed two separate videos and I thought, let's just not sit in the same sweatshirt for all my videos coming up. Um, I'm thinking I probably will try to bank up a few videos to, um, so I'm like prepared with several videos to go up on my channel and not just like scrambling for one at a time. We'll kind of see how this goes and feel it out. I'm trying to think of what I want to get done during nap time got a to-do list on my phone. Usually I try to get it out on paper, but that did not happen today. Maybe tonight I will actually go to bed at a decent time um, and get up extra early or something. I love that quiet morning work time, the mug of tea and stuff, but there I go getting all Enneagram 4 on you. Time to stare out the window and kind of ponder life for a little bit. I don't mind. Anyway, um, I'm going to go check my to-do list and check on Soren, who's taking another nap right now. Are you awake now? Hi, hon. How are you? Is Soren awake from his nap? Huh. <laughs> Love you. Are you hungry though? Oh. Oh man, so. Soren just had the biggest blow of his life so far, and that made a bath mandatory. We just got that all taken care of, and now it is 410. I assume Sophie is awake by now. Oh wow, still asleep, still laying down. I'm impressed. I was gonna work on an ebook that I'm working on. I might have mentioned that earlier. Um, kind of excited about it. I just, I'm done with the content. I just need to add some photos in. I'm gonna eat some of these energy balls, yummy balls we call them, but they are um, peanut butter, oat, and chocolate chip energy bites, and I will link the recipe below because they are our family's favorite and it's actually an emergency when we run out of them. We have a stash in the freezer. Maybe I can work for a few minutes, eat a little yeah. snack before Sophie wakes up. That was kind of crazy. That was crazy. Nothing like a bath in the middle of the day, right? <laughs> Sweet boy. Hello. <laughs> Soren is helping me answer some blog collaboration emails. I'm excited about something that, well, a collaboration that looks like it's gonna work out. Yeah, it's kind of about you, Soren. I'll tell you more later if it pans out. You can kind of hear my music in the background. It's my peaceful evening, peaceful evening playlist on Spotify. Super fun. Um, I'm surprised, but Sophie is still not really um, up from her nap. It's about 4.40, which is kind of crazy. But again, she did go down late for her nap. And I'm kind of enjoying a couple quiet minutes before we probably go play outside slash figure out supper. Usually I meal plan a little bit better than this, but hey, you know, it's the social distancing life, right? We'll find something. See, always likes to sit close to mama. Love you so much. This never ever happens, but Sophie is still asleep. And it's five o'clock, so we'll be getting her. Bjorn's in the kitchen pulling together supper. Yay! He's figuring out supper for us tonight. And Soren couldn't even finish nursing because he just fell asleep. Isn't he precious? Mm -hmm. I don't want to put
put them down, so I'm just gonna sit here with Soren a little bit longer. I think everyone's just really tired. It's kind of becoming, doesn't look that dark, but you know, the general feel of the house is just kind of gray and quiet and peaceful. Everyone's just a little extra sleepy. Hey, Sophie. <laughs> Sophie, what are you eating with daddy? What are you um, eating? Mama shows. What? How'd you get mama shows? They always eat that. Yeah? I thought you were eating fruit snacks. Fruit snacks. Oh, well, either way, that's a good day. This is what Bjorn made for supper, and you can totally hear what we are watching. We've got chicken nuggets tonight. Kind of fun. Sophie's it. <laughs> are you going to get mama? Oh, no. Oh no, you're fast. <laughs> Sophie's fast. Oh, oh, she got me. Okay, now Mama has to get you. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get her. Ready, set. Mama's out of breath. So we like to come to this, we call it the concrete slab. Because <laughs> they have not yet closed that park, right? That's our new park. Yep, and there's water there. Come, come over here, Sophie. Anyway, sometimes I run in circles around this thing. But Bjorn calculated and said I'd have to ride, not ride, I'd have to run like 52 times around or something to get to a mile, which is rather sad. So I don't know if I'll ever get to a mile running around while Sophie plays, but it feels really good to run around. <laughs> I actually haven't shown you guys this yet. It's a little less cool to look at without Soren in it, but it's a double stroller, obviously. Um, this part, his infant car seat clicks onto it, which is awesome, and then he can ride on that when he's older. This is the side that Sophie sits in here. Right, Sophie? She saw a bird or something. So, this is the side she sits in. I love the fact that I can actually buckle her in, because if we need to go somewhere quickly, we just hurry up. It's starting to sprinkle. I can feel it a little bit. So maybe we should check the mail and get home. It feels really good though to run around in this huge like grassy area, but that's our concrete slab, new park, like I said. And that's where we get to play instead of the playground. But with it starting to sprinkle, maybe we'll get going. Look what came. Sophie's koala crate. We love these. Remember? I like to cook Yeah, this is from her grandparents for Christmas. Really fun gift idea it was a whole year of her koala crates. Koala crates are this STEM focused crate of like activities, games, and a little board book, at least for her age group, that comes once a month, which is super fun. Yeah, she loves them. I'm excited. Bjorn always gets excited every month too when they come. All right, I'm gonna end the vlog here today and wanted to say thank you for coming along with us today. Um, I'm gonna get inside and We'll put Sophie to bed and then Bjorn and I will probably watch a show and make some popcorn like we have been doing during this um, social isolation, social distancing time. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you're at and thank you again for joining us. If you like this kind of video, please give it a like, uh, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to this channel to see some other videos of our life here. All right, bye guys.